Well, last year around this time I came here for us to do the first harvesting of upland rice. Uh, and that was the pilot project that was done between um, the Chinese and the ADMC. Uh, that project obviously was a success and so we're here now this year doing a second harvest of upland rice uh, and this has proven that we can in fact grow upland rice in Barbados and I'm emphasizing upland rice because of the variety. This project then will be expanded next year into the Pine Basin where there's going to be about 15 acres of land uh, that will allow them to be able to ramp up the production and be able to then give local farmers an opportunity to grow rice as well. So the Chinese are here, they're providing the training. Uh, this demonstration plot has proven that we can grow it. Uh, so far, um, last year, it was successful. So they got the 3,000 um, kilograms projected out of it. This year, again, on the same plot, they're getting back the same results. And therefore, um, with going to the Pine Basin with the 15 acres, then we should be able to increase the production of rice here in Barbados. Upland rice is a white rice, um, which is a variety of white rice that is commonly grown by the Chinese. And this is one variety. Uh, of course, you know that rice can be fairly water intensive and that's the reason why we are doing the upland rice because we can do it without having to rely heavily on water to be able to grow it. This takes a certain amount of water and this pilot project here has demonstrated that it can be done with the water that is available to us. China is ready to cooperate with Barbados on the selection, child planting and promotion of upland rice varieties including its cultivation during rainy season conditions as well as under the duress of limited water resources. We look forward to exploring a new model for the cultivation of sweet potatoes and vegetables in the dry seasons. Dear friends, Barbados is China's good friend and good partner in the East Caribbean since the establishment of the diplomatic relations between our two countries 47 years ago, bilateral ties have maintained a sound momentum of growth. The two countries have carried out fruitful cooperation in areas such as economy and trade, culture, education, and health care, setting example of mutual respect, equality, mutual benefit, and common development between countries of different sizes. Last year, Prime Minister Mia Momotli successfully visited China, where the leaders of our both countries jointly drew the blueprint for the future development of China-Barbados relations.